And again, Channel 13 is your eyewitness to the Olympics. Anne Marie Tiernan and Dave Calabro will anchor our live coverage and report from London during the Summer Games. A trip to the beach nearly turned tragic for a local teenager. Tonight, the boy who survived a shark attack near Charleston, South Carolina, is telling his story only on 13. <laughs> Life is good for Alex Stam. Shooting hoops with his friends before they all head off in different directions for life after high school. But this carefree kid almost lost that future on spring break in 2010. I just felt the immediate punch, and then after that, just nothing. His trip to the South Carolina shore proved to be no day at the beach. I just knew I had to get out of there. He had just been attacked by a seven-foot shark. The odds of that happening to a swimmer, one in over 11 million. And then I didn't really have time to react, but I looked away, like, to see where it, what happened. And I saw, like, a, like a fin, a dorsal fin, like, swim away. But I guess maybe adrenaline was going through me. I just didn't think about what, like, I didn't click what happened. But others on the beach did. One of the people with Alex's group is a nurse, and she applied pressure to stop him from bleeding to death. Two emergency room doctors were nearby and helped stabilize him. But then one of the doctors is just kind of sitting there thinking, he's like, you know, I don't think we'll have to amputate it. And I was like, oh, was that an option? Like, I was, that, that kind of scared me the most out of anything, but luckily it wasn't, didn't have to be amputated. Alex says reality set in when he looked down and saw the skin hanging off his leg, his tendons exposed. He was losing blood fast. I never did black blackout. I was losing blood in my head, but I was just kind of, I was getting more and more dizzy, and I just never thought of it. I thought I, just, I passed out before. Just I thought I was passing out again. An ambulance rushed him to the closest hospital for what turned out to be life-saving surgery. Later in the surgery room, the doctor said, yeah, you're actually really close to dying. At the time, I didn't think of anything of it. Sharks use their bottom jaws like a saw. Although he carries the scars from that day, Alex doesn't hold any anger toward his attacker. He says he was in the shark's backyard which was just trying to protect its territory. I saw all this like red come out. It's really gross. And like any teenager, this experience has given him a unique story to tell. Like first time I meet people, it's actually a really good, really good icebreaker. Funny? It's a funny it's story? It's a funny icebreaker, yeah. It's, um, I tell it with jokes, of course. I kind of play it up sometimes for, for the ladies, I guess. Plays it up for the ladies. There you go. How you doing? Alex says he has been back to the ocean since the attack, but he doesn't stay in the water for very long. He says he now prefers to stay on the beach in the sunshine instead. And by the way, he has plans for the future. He's going to go to Purdue in the fall and study engineering. So good for him. What a story to tell. Yes, so it is. Was he serious about you know using that as a kind of a pickup line? Like, I think he doing? was serious he's about that. He's a young shark guy. Bite. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Well, you know, <laughs> I think that after so much time has gone by, it yeah. becomes a little less, a little less serious yeah, than it was at the time. Mm -hmm. So happy he's doing okay. Yes,